We are fools for the sake of Christ. We are hungry and thirsty. We are poorly clothed and beaten. We are homeless, and we grow weary from the work of our own hands. When reviled, we bless. When persecuted, we endure. But God proves his love for us, in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Because if you confess with your lips that Jesus is the Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you'll be saved. Those who have never heard of him shall understand. be satisfied. That was Yes. Tax As you all know, I try and tell the truth at all times, even when I know it is not a truth that everyone wants to hear. Tonight we are all happy that Peter has been here with us in Antioch for the past month, and we are glad that Benjamin and others have brought good tidings from James in Jerusalem. But, but, some of us are engaging in a hypocrisy since Benjamin arrived. Some of us used to eat with the Gentiles in this group, and as soon as Benjamin arrived, they shunned the Gentiles. This is hypocrisy. Who are you speaking of, Paul? You. And Peter. I'm sorry, Peter, but it's true. As soon as James' people arrive from Jerusalem, you pull back from the Gentiles. You are afraid of criticism because of the controversy over those who are circumcised and those who are not. It's a very serious question. To some, perhaps. To me, it is a mockery of Jesus' teaching. It is the law that believers must be circumcised. Believers in the law? You're abandoning the law? <laughs> when Gentiles, who do not possess the law, do instinctively what the law requires, they are the law unto themselves. What the law requires is written on their hearts. Many who follow Jesus believe that they must accept the law also. Christ is the end of the law. The end of the law, so there may be righteousness for everyone who believes. This is too serious a question to decide here tonight. There should be a meeting of all the elders to decide this question. Barnabas is right. We will meet in Jerusalem in one month's time. This is very dangerous. This is my temple. I will come here whenever I want. You're a stubborn man, Paul. I'm not afraid. I am. Unless you are circumcised according to the custom of Moses, you cannot be saved. But we're not talking about Jews, we're talking about Gentiles. The law does not bend Gentile or Jew. Moses is very clear. We've always said that we follow the law. Moses' law. Even Jesus said to follow the law. But he also said to be tolerant of the differences of each man. The law has no tolerance. Barnabas and I have found many wonderful things in our travels. Jesus, who's called Christ in the lands to the west. And the believers are called Christians. Christians. Oh, we like this word. I think Jesus would like this. You are all Christians. <laughs> the law, as Moses gave it to us, is not known among Gentiles. When we tell them about the law, we're always careful to explain it as a way of living which is good for all not as rules which must be followed. Gentiles have their own rules, and Barnabas and I have found that many are the same as ours. Different words meaning the same thing. Yes. God's commandment to do unto others as you would have them do unto you is the law by which all men must live. It does not matter if they are Jew or Gentile. But specific laws, like circumcision, are very difficult for Gentiles to accept. 
Demanding the Gentiles eat certain foods or wear certain clothes is not important in my opinion. It's only important that they understand and accept Jesus and the teaching of Jesus. But didn't Jesus teach the law? He did. But you have told me that he said loving one another was the heart of the law and that we are to be more concerned about what comes out of our mouths than what goes in. My brothers, Paul's argument has changed my mind. No, Peter. Peter! God knows the human heart, and in cleansing the hearts of Gentiles, he has made no distinction. Therefore, putting God to the test by placing on the neck of disbelievers a yoke which is not theirs but ours is not right. They will be saved through the grace of the Lord Jesus, just as we will. Will you join with me in this, James? It is important we be united in this decision. We should make a solemn proclamation which says that we have decided unanimously to no longer impose on Gentiles any burden of the law except, except to obey the commandments of God. If anyone is in Christ, there is a new creation. Everything old has passed away. Everything has become new. Amen. 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 Amen.